The sons of the prophet are hardy and bold and quite unaccustomed to fear. But the bravest of all was a man I am told named Abdul the Bubul Amir. When they needed a man to encourage the van or harass a foe from the rear, storm for to read out they had only to shout the name Abdul the Bubul Amir. This son of the desert in battle aroused could split twenty men on his spear. A terrible creature, sober or soused, was Abdul the Bubul Amir. Now heroes were plenty and well known to fame who fought in the ranks of the Tsar. But the bravest of these was a man by the name of Ivan Skvinsky Iskvar. He could imitate Irving, play poker and pool, and strum on the Spanish guitar. In fact, quite the cream of the Muscovite team was Ivan Skvinsky Iskvar. The ladies all loved him, his rivals were few. He could drink them all under the bar. As gallon or tank, there was no one to rank with Ivan Skvinsky Skvar. One day this bold Russian had shouldered his gun and donned his most truculent sneer. Downtown he did go, where he trod on the toe of Abdul the Bulbul Amir. Young man, said Bulbul, has your life grown so dull that you're anxious to end your career? Vile infidel, no, you have trod on the toe of Abdul the Bulbul Amir. So take your last look at sunshine and brook and send your regrets to the Tsar. By which I imply you are going to die, Mr. Ivan Skvinsky Iskvar. Said Ivan, my friend, your remarks in the end will avail you, but little I fear. For you ne'er will survive to repeat them alive, Mr. Abdul the Bubul Amir. Then that bold mama Luke drew his trusty iskabook with the cry of Bala Akbar. And with murderous intent he ferociously went for Ivan Skvinsky Iskvar. While they parried and thrust, they sidestepped and cussed, of blood they spilled a great part. The philologist blokes who seldom crack jokes say that hash was first made on that spot. They fought all the night neath the pale yellow moon, the din it was heard from afar. Huge multitudes came, so great was the fame of Abdul and Ivan Skvar. As Abdul's long knife was extracting the life, in fact he had shouted, Huzzah! He felt himself struck by that wily come up, Count Ivan Skvinsky Skvar. The sultan drove by in his red-breasted fly, expecting the victor to cheer. But he only drew nigh just to hear the last sigh of Abdul the Bubul Amir. Tsar Petrovich, too, in his spectacles blue, rode up in his new crested car. He arrived just in time to exchange a last line with Ivan Skvinsky Skvar. There's a tomb rises up where the blue Danube rolls, engraved there in characters clear. Our stranger when passing, oh pray for the soul of Ivan Skvinsky Skvar. A Muscovite maid in her lone vigil keeps neath the light of the pale polar star. The name that she murmurs so often she weeps is Ivan Skvinsky Skvar.